What it do, homies? We back with some more Sunny V2. This time we're checking out The Rock is losing thousands of fans per hour. Why? I like The Rock, but I heard that he got a bunch of background stuff that I'm not understanding or tuning to know about. Uh, so let's go ahead, shut up and turn it up. WrestleMania's most disliked <clears throat> video ever, Oops. and through some terrible podcast appearances, a completely out of touch <laughs> fundraiser, and his reputation as a walking, talking advertisement, the world's fakest celebrity has for the first time ever seen a fall in Instagram followers. But the biggest contributor might be his endless list of lies on everything from his movie earnings to fast food consumption. Mm. For example, back in 2017, The Rock posted this photo to his Instagram claim I've never been to in and out before, which didn't say more that serious until roughly five years later, when in August 2022, he'd post the following video. This is the very first time that I have ever tried an in and out burger or in and out fries or anything from in and out for that matter. He'd therefore claimed for a second time it was my first ever time eating in and out, yet he might not have been guilty given he'd also said this. Now I picked up some in and out burger before for some buddies of mine. I've never tried it. So this is a first. That okay. would be until December 2023, when The Rock claimed for a third time he'd had my first in and out burger experience, also pretending like he'd never even tried fast food before. I didn't know the lingo, didn't know who to pay, where to pay, didn't know shit, before adding some self-congratulatory comments about leaving a massive tip. This led to mainstream media articles and a 6 million view Penguin Zero video. This oh my goodness. Okay, listen. Sometimes, because even I myself forget things, right? I've done it all the time here on my channel. I've reacted to certain artists or whatnot. And then, you know, I'll say it's my first time uh, because it's something I've done years ago. As a matter of fact, a band called Era, right? Heavy metal band. I had done a reaction to them, I think, six months ago. And I just completely forgot. Honest mistakes. We're all human. It happens. But fool me once, right? In this, in this case, for the same thing, yeah, it's a bit sketchy. This is the third time he's done it. He keeps pretending that he's trying in and out for the first time every couple of years. The other two videos are still on your Instagram page. Forcing The Rock to change his description by adding, my first ever in and out burger experience again. <laughs> Thanks to the fans who reminded me that I went to in and out years ago and totally forgot about it, but there was another lie that did way more damage. Black Adam was released in December 2022, yet after its theater run ended, Insider published an article reading, box office bust, Black Adam faces theatrical losses. The article explained that the film needed to earn around 600 million worldwide to break even. Yet box office experts believe Black Adam will stall out with less than 400 million globally. Now the movie stands to lose 50 million to 100 million in its theatrical run, although only three days later, The Rock was saying the opposite. Waited to confirm with financiers before I shared this excellent Black Adam news. Our film will profit between 50 2 and 72 million fact also attaching a deadline article which stated there's some snarking going on out there that black adam is poised to lose 50 m to 100 m and that is simply just not true the movie is bound to break even and be in the black well it turns out this article was written with false information that the rock had personally leaked to the journalist oh to make goodness. his film seem profitable oh. after 25 years we finally found out what the rock is cooking the books but the thing that's really cooking his his reputation is perhaps the cooking itself, as The Rock's longest running and most off-putting lies are on the topic of diet and exercise. I'm, I'm sorry, but there's just no way. There's no way. Now, I understand that there are some people who, who, who post these, what do you call it again? Where they eat a lot. I forgot what it's called. YouTube pretty much put a ban hammer on those type of things. Mosh, mosh, mosh. Oh, whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It starts with a M. Mukbang. That's what it is. Like mukbang stuff. But there's just no way, right? I know he works out a lot, but I always took these type of videos with a with a huge type of grain of salt. Anytime I see people wolfing down so much, so much, I think it's mostly, I mean, obviously for the likes and everything. The interesting thing about it is why, right? The Rock is legendary. He doesn't have to do these things, so... For example, The Rock most off-putting lies are on the topic of diet and exercise. For example, The Rock claimed to be eating a suspicious amount of food. Anywhere between six to 
well, I would say possible, almost 8,000 calories a day. Which was quickly shut down by Greg Doucette. There is no way The Rock burns off enough calories to average six to 8,000 calories a day and look like this. If he actually ate those kind of calories, six to 8,000 a day, he would be 100 pounds overweight. Who went through The Rock's entire daily diet before adding this. He described about 3,000 calories, maybe, but where do we get the six to eight total thousand calories? The Rock also uploaded Shakes. a raw uncut leg know. workout, which he called intense and unlike anything I've ever done, which Greg went on to criticize. But look at the grimaces on his face. Notice how hard he seems to be pushing. This is two plates on each side. A man of the Rock's stature, size, and strength. I would believe that this would be a cakewalk. Many bikini competitors could lift this much weight. And I'm not trying to strength shame him here, but I believe that you're lying when you say that this kicked your ass. There is no way that this was difficult for you. Highlighting The Rock's most notable lie of all. There's not a fucking chance in hell he's maybe, clean. Maybe he's trying to relate, right? That's kind of some deep investigation that you're doing right there, like looking at his face and everything. But, you know, I guess it's what you call journalism. Maybe he's trying to do that to say like it relates, uh, you know, the people who do work out relating that it is hard work, but Fighting the rock's most is. notable lie of all. There's not a fucking chance in hell he's clean. No. Not a chance in hell. As big as the rock is at 50. On the topic of steroids, Johnson has said he hasn't touched them since he was 18 when he tried them before college. Sure, you get a lot of people out there who will suspect and say shit. They want to negate the hard work you put in, although it's strange to see him only getting bigger despite now being into his 50s. And so it's you know the way that i kind of wrote this off was his dad was huge right and i always thought that in wrestling you'd had to maintain like a certain figure that you were going to be you know not too big not too they want you at a certain size and then and, and you want to stay at that size you find out you're getting bigger maybe it needs to be part of a story or something like that or part of a script or something so i figured that with the rock not being involved in in wrestling anymore he could work out as much as he needed. He can get to the size that he wanted to. And I believe he can get to that size because, again, Rocky was huge. His dad was a, a, a walking tank. So, Eddie Hall strange to see him only getting bigger despite now being into his 50s. Eddie Hall gave his voice on what Dwayne might be using. I would believe that The Rock would be on TRT, which is testosterone replacement therapy. A very good thing to do. It's actually very good for you, very healthy for you. While mm. Joe Rogan theorized he was probably using more. You can't even get there with HRT. That's yeah. not HRT. Which was again echoed by Greg Doucette. Not only do I not think he's natural, I don't think he's on HRT. I think he's on the, the kitchen sink. Whatever he can take, really? I think he's on all of it and then some. You don't get big like that into your 50s compared to your 40s and 30s. Like you see some photos of him in his 30s. He's 50s. way bigger and leaner now. This has mm. helped him to earn the following title. The Rock is the fakest celebrity in Hollywood. And nothing solidified this harder than The Rock's recent Joe Rogan episode. I was very hyped for this podcast, but it was honestly quite boring. Rock unironically has some serious politician traits with how he takes the middle road and nods his way through anything potentially controversial Joe would say. As mentioned, The Rock tiptoed through the entire episode. You tell The Rock just did not want to give his opinion on anything and he's walking on eggshells. You know, he's definitely worried about saying anything controversial or getting canceled. Additionally, The Rock avoided controversy by controlling every topic, leading to not wanting to say anything controversy, right? Controversial, sorry. Like, for instance, if you had like a brand to protect, do you guys think that, you know, if you was in the same situation with a whole lot to lose and people were asking you the tough questions, right? Not to like excuse anything, but people asking you questions, do you think that you would answer honestly every time if you were in the hot seat? I feel like that's a little, I feel like it's easy to answer when we're not in there and say, yeah, you want to ask me something controversy? I got nothing to hide. I'll say anything. The only thing about that is that you don't know what kind of questions they're going to ask. And you got people uh, like Joe Rogan that, and, and Charlamagne the God, now that I think about it, and what they do is they try their best to knock you off balance, that no matter what type of preparation and everything that you can make, they're going to counter your preparation and ask you something that will put you in a hot seat. Now, there are people like celebrities and everything, people who know how to navigate around that, um, but when you got a lot to lose, is it a question that's so easily answered?
cancelled. Additionally, The Rock avoided controversy by controlling every topic, leading to other comments such as, Rock has asked Joe about a hundred questions so far, and I don't think Joe has asked Rock a single one. Joe is doing all the talking about the same old shit and I'm about to fall asleep. The whole episode just felt kind of weird, not only because of Joe previously calling The Rock a steroid user, but because The Rock had also called Joe Rogan out himself. I thought The Rock disowned Joe during the whole N-word incident. Back in 2022 when Joe posted this iconic video, The Rock stood firmly behind him by writing, great stuff here brother, perfectly articulated, looking forward to coming on one day and breaking out the tequila with you, although his support was met with backlash. Dear The Rock, you're a hero to many people and using your platform to defend Joe Rogan, a guy that used and laughed about using the n-word dozens of times, is really? a terrible use of your power. Of Have you actually listened to this man's many racist statements about black people? causing The Rock to fold instantly. Dear Don Winslow, thank instantly. you so much for this. I hear you as well as everyone here 100%. I was not aware of his N-word use prior to my comments, but now I've become educated to his complete... I'm gonna go ahead and press X for doubt. You know, I'm pretty sure Dwayne Johnson has a whole entire press team, you know, PR and everything that makes sure he's, he's well informed, at least I think. Uh, like I said, when you're as big as him, you got so much to lose. Hmm. You know, I, I just always assumed that the really big people, you know, they have teams that scan or proofread uh, te uh, text and not text, sorry, like social media posts, especially when you do it on your main. So hmm. I don't know. I'll take that with a grain of salt as well. Narrative. Learning moment for me, showing he'd cave from the smallest bit of criticism. The Rock was the most sanitized, neutered, safe person I've ever heard audio of. Not one real opinion. He was like the breathing version of ChatGPT in 10 years. The Rock might be physically strong, but clearly has no public backbone, and nothing showed this more comically than his recent Maui controversy. After the island was burnt by fires, The Rock and Oprah launched the People's Fund of Maui, contributing five million dollars each before asking the public to donate. So we appreciate any support that you can give. What do I do? What do I do? This is what you do. The People's Fund of Maui. The comments have since been turned off completely, yet they once echoed the sentiment, math ain't mathing with this one. You guys literally have so much money. You can donate it and make it back within a year. Now, The Rock didn't need to respond. His five million dollar donation was already extremely generous, that is generous. yet once again he couldn't handle handle the backlash and uploaded oh, a video claiming he'd done the wrong thing. When we first launched the fund, there was some backlash and I want to address and acknowledge that backlash right now. And here's what I have to say about that. I get it and I completely understand and I could have been better and next time I will be better. The Rock doesn't even feel like a real person anymore. He's basically just a walking business with the whole walking billboard mentality becoming increasingly obvious to everyone. He only has one mode and that's sales mode. For example, he simply had to celebrate his sold out wrestling match with a massive swig of tequila. And what about the drink of choice for his first time trying in and out Well, again, two straight shots of his own brand of alcohol. You know, you know who else does this almost religiously? Um, 50 Cent. Like, I, I think he still does it under every post he has what that Branson cognac or something like that. <laughs> First time trying in and out Well, again, two straight shots of his own brand of alcohol. Not exactly believable. But what about this wholesome video where he pulls up to a tour bus? You guessed it, it's actually an ad. We're building our second distillery, and we are the largest employer of everybody in Jesus Maria. I love Jesus Maria. Thank you, brother. Did you try the tequila? By scrolling to any part of his Instagram, you can see that around 75% of his posts are sponsored, and the nickname Dwayne the Ad Johnson is is therefore perfectly fitting. <laughs> this combined with everything else has severely wounded his image. Dang. However, his recent actions with the WWE have dealt the final blow. On the 23rd of January, 2024, The Rock became a WWE board member and a voice for what takes place in the show. The Rock ensured the audience, final at my boss. core, I'm a builder who builds for and serves the people, although so far he hasn't served anyone beside himself. How might you ask? Well, you'll need a bit of back 
backstory. Roman Reigns was WWE champion for roughly three whole years, although it was Longest. hinted that the widely adored Cody Rhodes would be next to take the title. The two had a long running feud, so their matchup seemed perfect, and Cody had just won the Royal Rumble, the winner of which normally goes on to face the champ. Well, after all the what? hype had built, Cody Rhodes unexpectedly told Roman he didn't want to face him, randomly subbing himself out for The Rock, who had no place in the story. Suspiciously, this was only yeah, I wonder how people felt about that, right? I don't follow wrestling and obviously this made like big, huge news, but it's, you know, from my perspective, it seemed like it was well received, right? That people, people enjoyed the whole final boss heel that, that he was going on. 10 days after Dwayne became a board member, with many believing The Rock had simply written himself into their feud. The highlight therefore gained over 700,000 dislikes, being given the title of the most hated WWE oh. move ever, since the highlight is now the WWE's most disliked video. The backlash was so severe that the story was totally changed, oh. with Cody successfully beating Roman in April, after which The Rock announced he was leaving. The story led some fans to state, I swear I have watched this much wrestling in years, although The Rock's personal following hasn't been so yeah. healthy. Only 12 months ago, The Rock was gaining 5 million followers per month, although through what? everything discussed in this video, The Rock is now losing fans for the very first time ever. Okay, I didn't know they changed the story, but that does kind of make sense. Wow, the most, wow. Okay, well, I guess what's next for The Rock? I got a couple of, you know, look, a couple of friends that look at my idol. I grew up with them, but I grew up with them. But you know, SmackDown, SmackDown days. Oh yeah, big huge rock fan. But I haven't necessarily dove into like the actions and everything. So yeah, it's kind of kind of looking bad uh, for the Rock. But y'all, let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments. Dave's out.